Hi guys, Sean from Optics Warehouse. So today we have the Schmidt & Bender PM2 3 to 27 by 56 high power. This particular model comes with a Double Turn 2 Plus and the difference between the Double Turn 2 and the Double Turn 2 Plus, the Double Turn 2 Plus comes with a tactile indicator which is just located here and this is currently in locked mode so I just pull it onto the next gear which gives me the green setting which is allowing me to move the turret freely but has an MTC click and to save the MTC click I'll pull it through to the black setting so I can clearly just turn the turret quickly without those heavier indented clicks and as you can see there that's on my second revolution well I've just started it and that tactile indicator pops up so meaning it's tactile I can feel it in the field with gloves on easy to see it's still visual but it's not as visual or not I wouldn't say not as visual but it's not as prominent as having uh, the window system which the double turn 2 does still have but that window system like you would see on the standard double turn turrets is the second revolution is indicated by yellow coming up in the window so on your first revolution on the standard double turn 2 it's clear on the second revolution it goes to yellow so they've still kept that second revolution shown as yellow but just showing it using the tactile indicator instead so that sort of tells you exactly what that double turn 2 turret is and I'll talk over that a little bit more detail in a second, but if I get straight to the, the main bunts of the review, we always start at the eyepiece, just because it's nice and simple and sort of flows through. So as you can see, it comes with a set of Tenebrax covers on there. Nice, solid, robust, military grade flip up covers. Eyepiece, a quick adjustment on the diopter easy plenty of adjustment there I turn that back made in Germany as you expect with every Schmidt and Bender PM2 rifle scope we have 3 to 27 by 56 it's the high power series with the high powers you can see on this knurling on the actual magnification ring this allows the shooter to buy the extra magnification throw lever that Schmidt offer that fits this rifle scope, uh, the 3 to 20 and some of the other models available, but doesn't fit the models with the older rubber eyepieces. Move forward, we've got the illumination turret located on the side again. Again, left-handed shooters, worth noting if you've got a bolt thrown on your left, a lot of the PM2s sometimes don't work. So if you don't get the right height mounts or just in general, if you don't mount this correctly, you will get the bolt hitting this turret. So that's worth bearing in mind if you have a left-handed bolt action. Um, we move forward, 34mm main tube, plenty of internal adjustment. We've got nine times magnification range on this rifle scope, predominantly designed for long-range target shooting, but still with that three times mag, means you can engage targets at the shorter range and allows you to use it for a range of different shooting disciplines so a lot of these scopes will be used for tactical style events so a lot of PRS shooting or PRL in the UK and it'd be engaging targets in multiple different ranges so as we move forward we come onto the saddle of the rifle scope as you can see again we have this gear system and it's Bit more simpler on the single turn windage it's nice and visual you've got big letters and big numbers indicating your point of direction and what actual um, mil rad value you're on and again we have this lever system red indicates that it's locked so i'm in the lock position i'm pushed forward and with the lever pushed back towards me and then engage so I can then click the turret and that's nice and simple and I don't have my tactile more tactile click so I will just lock this off again 
we go through onto the side adjust the side focus adjustment again these scopes come down to 10 meters and out to infinity not much else we can say about that but that glass is superb throughout the magnification range and down to lower distances so schmidt and bender really got this nine times mag absolutely dialed in so this is really really good move then on to the actual turret itself again i briefly touched on it at the very beginning uh, this scope has 30.5 mil rad of adjustment marked on the turret simply shown on with a double turn style turret this particular one is the double turn 2 plus has that tactile indicator and these turrets are tri tested dialed all day and they repeat all the time so if you're looking for a scope that is going to do exactly says on the tin then these pm2s are definitely one to be considered move forward 56 mil objective again tenebrax cover again get get what you pay for this particular model comes with the grid reticule the grid has been very popular and it's often seen um, being used in multiple different competition events and we have seen a flurry of sales in this particular model on the 3 to 20 ultra short so if you're a sport shooter or sport competition shooter particularly for like prl events then this reticule is incredibly well designed very well thought out gives you exactly what you want very uncluttered field of view but still providing plenty of information so we will be starting to hold these particular model in stock the 3 to 27 has slowly started to pick up speed now in the uk it was slightly bit of a slower seller but with the introduction of these new reticules these new turrets is really started to pick up some speed if you want any further information head to the website or you can give us a call or drop us an email and we're happy to get back to you and provide you with everything you need remember if you want these videos still coming subscribe to the channel keep liking them and we'll make sure we keep the feeds updated. Cheers, guys.